Whew. You ever have the gain set way too high on some headphones and then get that crazy feedback loop? Yeah, that's embarrassing. So today we are gonna talk about some V-mount batteries from Intellitech. Now, I'm not an expert on V-mount batteries, but I have collected several of them. Uh, this is part of my collection of V-mounts over here. And there's, there's a lot of different brands and a lot of different prices and a lot of different features from within batteries. Uh, I have so many of them that it may warrant a showdown here pretty soon at some point. But right now we're gonna be talking about what Intellitech is offering with their 98 watt hour Pocket V VMAP batteries. So when Intellitech asked if they could send these out to the channel for me to take a look at, I, I said yes immediately. So th there's a few things that set the Pocket V apart from all these other brands of batteries that I own. First off, they're called Pocket Vs because they're the new smaller portable pocket size battery, kind of like the, uh, the Bebop batteries I have. They're very similar in size. There are other brands of small batteries, but another thing that sets the Pocket V apart from the other ones is the maximum output. SWIT sells 98 watt hour small pocket size VMAP batteries, uh, but their batteries only put out like three amps. Um, I think I've seen others that put out up to six amps. The Bebop batteries output a maximum of 10 amps and the Pocket Vs from Intellitech put out a continuous 12 amps. So these are the highest output uh, 98 watt hour VMAP batteries that I've seen and now own. And the last thing that really sets them apart from all the other VMAP batteries that I've played with or looked at is it's only 200 bucks per VMAP battery. Uh, the ones from Bebop, for example, are over $300. I think it's like $320. The ones from Swit, the ones that only output, uh, you know, three amps, they're like $260 a piece. But the 98 watt hour Pocket Vs from Intellitech are only $200 a piece. So it's the highest sustained output, lowest cost, small VMAP battery that I've seen. And so we've got two of them here and they sell one other accessory that also costs about $200. This is their dual V-mount to single V-mount adapter. They also sell one that adapts V-mount to gold mounts. So obviously it lets you connect two V-mount batteries to the unit so you can plug in both VMAP batteries at the same time to whatever your light is or whatever you're trying to use your VMAP batteries for. We've also got two DTAP out ports here. But what I like about it is you can use it with just one and then use it as a hot swap tray like that. So you can continuously power something while constantly swapping out uh, batteries or you can just run two batteries at the same time for twice as long. Now it won't double the maximum amperage or continuous output of your batteries. That would be really cool if you could put out 24 amps with two pocket VMAP batteries attached, but that's not what it's for. It's either for increasing the length of time or just using two batteries without having to swap them out halfway through a shoot or for traveling because 98 watt hours is the largest size battery you can take on a plane with you. So you can take two of these and you can take your adapter tray and then have a essentially a 200 watt hour V-mount solution without actually having to bring a 200 watt hour V-mount battery with you. So that's the most affordable 98 watt hour high power pocket size V-mount battery that I've seen and I'm excited to share it with you. Now one other thing Intellitech is doing uh, soon is they're coming out with, I think it's a 150 watt hour pocket V size battery and it's also going to be similarly competitively priced to every other battery in the market. Now, one other thing I like about the Pocket Vs is they have a USB port. So if you're like me and you like things that are multi-purpose, uh, if you're going on a vacation far away from your work and or video production, you can still pack the 98 watt hour Pocket V and your USB charging cable for your phone and then not have to worry about power for a couple of weeks because these batteries are huge, bigger than most commercial, you know, USB battery packs you find for your phone. Uh, so this is a you know great alternative to keep your phone charged. Of course, there's always pros and cons with every product and I try and find them all. The only real cons I found with the Pocket V is one, uh, it's rounded all the way around. So the only way to set it down on a counter is either on its side uh, or on its back. Uh, you can't you can't stand them up next to each other because they fall down too easily. I mean, you can if you're really careful, but even then they're kind of tilted. And the other thing is to activate the USB port, you need to double click the uh, status indicator light and that kind of like kicks off the USB port. 
I would prefer if the USB port would always know as soon as I plug something into it. And as far as the double V-mount plate adapter, you can't actually use this to charge your V-mounts. Uh, it only does output power. So you, ha you can't just have both your V-mount batteries plugged into this and then stick in a DTAP power source. It doesn't seem to charge the batteries. And if you're picking up pocket VMAP batteries, uh, sim similar to most VMAP batteries anyways, is it doesn't come with any way to charge it. So if this is going to be your first VMAP battery purchase, you're also going to have to pick up a charger. That being said, for 200 bucks, it's still a crazy good deal. So there you go, that's Intellitex Pocket V system, the most affordable high output pocket size batteries that I've seen. If you can find a, if you can find a cheaper one, let me know in the comments. Thanks Intellitech for sending out the Pocket Vs. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I am going to be doing a showdown of all these batteries at some point after I do a showdown of all my tripods and all of the one by one size lights. In the next video, I think I'm going to talk about the Mix Pre 3 and the Mix Pre 3 Mark II and the noise assist feature. I just got it installed. I've had it running the whole time. I'm recording in 32 bit audio. So you've been seeing this clip back here, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit in the next video. So make sure you're subscribed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.